good takers welcome back to the first take now Gareth Evans the uh, Welsh director the, the action genius I think that is no exaggeration to even say that the man behind the the raid movies uh, one and two and uh, what was the other one he had just before that Merang 2 or Merang Tus something like that it was an Indonesian smaller one where it's kind of him just kind of wetting his feet in that sort of martial art world right before he did the first raid movie and uh, yeah so he's kind of been on a hiatus for a while now as we're waiting for whether he's going to be doing the rage free straight away or doing a whole next movie he keeps being associated with different projects but he hasn't actually taken anything on officially yet but raid will come raid free will come one day eventually but but yeah while he's been just chilling at home went back to wales where he's from he decided that while his friends, the uh, actors who we saw in the uh, two Raid movies, three of those guys, decided to come and pay him a visit, you know, just during the summer, last last year, yeah. And I figured, hey, while you're here, let's just make a little movie, a little short. Hmm, why not? So let's check it out, because he stuck it up on YouTube. And he hasn't even got a name, he just calls it Previs Action. Apparently it's a Samurai movie. So, hmm. I'm actually really curious to see what he could do with this. Like I said, man, infinitely entertaining. That's that dude. Here we go. Love chasing kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> Down you go. You're next.
Yeah. So something that they apparently just threw together and literally the only crew they had was who you saw. The three of them and Gareth. No other crew, no lighting, it's all natural lighting. One single camera which Gareth was just kind of running around with. Uh, not a flashy one at that. You could tell with a lot of the fast movements it kind of got a little fuzzy so it was just a regular camera so it's just ah. Uh, and to still come out with something that was actually look pretty cool and they got around a lot of the problems by making it black and white because that lets you kind of black and white's a lot more forgiving so you can make it look a lot more cinematic than if they had to do it you know full color but that looked good i like that and it i like this the change of style because apparently they were working out gareth wanted to work out ideas choreography ideas while he was just hanging out with those three or the two dudes that came over and uh i'm not sure whether she is one of the people who came to visit or whether because he's married to an indonesian woman that was always his connection that's why he was over there making movies in the first place because i don't know whether that she is his wife or not and that could just be a pure guess or not but uh yeah but he just wanted to work out ideas he had so i like the idea the, the, the fact that if this is sort of thing he wants to do with the next his next movie but i like the idea that he's what he's thinking and trying to experiment with new ways of capturing action and using weapons, I guess that really is quite a bit different from what we saw in the Rage films. Even though they had like daggers and knives and shit. This was a real different sort of... But the energy's there and that sort of close quarter. Just like brutal. Because uh, uh, uh. this, this conversation has come up before. Would you want to see him do his own thing? Because he's one of those directors that... You know, like with Tarantino, I'd rather Tarantino always just does his own thing, his own original ideas, rather than him being brought in to do some other franchise thing, like whether it's a superhero movie or, you know, Star Wars. I wouldn't want to see Tarantino really do that. I like Tarantino just doing his own thing. What about Gareth? Do you think he would fit in well with maybe being handed the reins to some sort of superhero at some point? Or would you prefer for him to just stay doing his own thing? You know, and is it... Couldn't he balance the two? Like maybe if they were to do like a, maybe if they were to give Punisher another go. So a certain hero that would sue him, a mature, action oriented, grounded hero. Or would you want him to go completely out of his comfort zone and just do something completely different? Like, I, pff, I don't know. It sounds like Punisher, the idea of a Punisher movie or miniseries or Netflix show with Gareth Evans being the, the guy behind it, that, that could be fascinating. That would be fascinating. That would be pretty damn amazing, to be honest. And there was talk before, um, before, uh, what's his face? Oh, I forget the name of the director. But the dude who's doing the next uh, Furious 8 movie. There was talk of maybe getting Gareth in to do it, which would have been interesting. I'm kind of happy he didn't, but 
uh, could have been interesting. But I don't know. But let me know, guys. What's your opinion? Write your comments down below. If you like the video, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> please. I'm Ed Reese, and this has been my first take to Gareth Evans' previous action short thing that he threw together and stuck on YouTube. And I liked it. I liked it a lot. Let it be.